some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we have a hybrid fraudulent Karen Savtard type who, uh, well, gets pulled over for uh, speeding and an obstructed license plate. And, uh, well, it ends up with her getting arrested uh, for committing several felonies along the way. Now, let's all thank Body Cam Watch for uh, posting this uh, wonderful content on their channel, something that we can all enjoy. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. Can you roll down this back window, please? Um, there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna fall out. But oh, it will? Okay, hold on. Okay. So you can put it back up. Just you can put it back up. I just, I couldn't see it. Your tent is so dark. Oh, okay. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Do you have a driver's license on you? you. How you doing, sir? Are you? This good. is expired. I do have a non-expired one. Okay, sounds good. It's just broken in half. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sir, do you have an ID on you? Yes, sir. I'm sure we 215 is her king right in the cell phone. Yeah, that's definitely a violation right there, according to Florida statutes. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Well, that's at least what she said anyway. But in all seriousness, yeah, according to this statute right here, it is definitely a violation. I mean, at the very least, could you not have rented a U-Haul a uh, trailer? I mean, there are U-Haul places all over Florida. I mean, it, 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 there's no excuse for this. Hold on, you guys are currently turning as a P4. Try to get my turn 83. 34, they're too far off. Ma'am. Yes. I don't know what you have in your bag, and I feel very uncomfortable with you keep on digging in there. Do so you mind not digging in your bag, please? Maybe, of course. I got you. So you do have a license, though? Yeah. Okay. Sir? Oh, that's your ID? Okay, cool. So where are you from, ma'am? California. California? All right. You do have a California valid driver's license? Okay, you do. All right. You want to step out for me real quick? I'm just, I want to figure out your driver's license situation, okay? Because I want you to step out of the car. You're not going to? Take 15 and another unit. She's going to step out of the vehicle. You ain't going to step out of the vehicle? Why can't I stay in the car for you to look up my life right uh, Pennsylvania versus Mims, you lightweight softard, says that the officer can order you to get out of the car. And, uh, well, it is definitely a Supreme Court ruling, unlike the heavily, uh, quote, mined pieces of paper that, uh, you p soft hearts end up pulling out of your ass that has no actual value in the real world. Excuse me. Step out of the vehicle. I am playing this game. Let's do what? Step out. Step out. Hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. Face it from the door. Come here. You got weapons on you? Come here. Take a seat. Take a seat. Step out of the vehicle. Put your hands behind the back. You're just being detained, okay? Okay, yeah. I appreciate your cooperation. All right. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, you're just along for the ride, huh? Uh, well, I think you chose the wrong ride. While she may be a good ride, I think you'll be regretting it in the long run. I, I got you. Who is she to you? She's a friend. And Sit back. You got any weapons on her? No, sir. Yeah, but that's you don't have to chat me down all you want. The guy I work with, he... Yeah, 10 4, you can downgrade, but I'm gonna need another unit. It's his normal friend. Yeah. She's a girlfriend? Yeah, it's his girlfriend. Other than that BB gun, is there anything? There's nothing. Why did you think she had a little illegal bit of narcotics? Officer? Huh? May I see your ID? 
Like but my my. Badge, yeah, sure. You want to speak a, to a lieutenant? Oh yes, all right. I'll let like you see your. You ID. you want to speak to a lieutenant? Oh, you speak to no I want to speak to your. Lieutenant Nash, she wants to speak with you. Show me your badge. No, you're not stepping. Your badge and your ID. I, no, you're not stepping out. Okay. Uh, Show me your badge and your ID. She's trying to Samantha. My answer. I would like to see his badge and his ID. First of all, he. No, listen. No. Listen. All right, then you're, gonna, then you're gonna. Your then you're gonna. Then you're gonna go to jail. My ID's right here. You're about to go to jail. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk you out of going to jail. You're required to show me your. There. You see it. You happy? Yeah. All right. I don't have a badge. You know. Yeah, you ain't in California. Yeah, you're not in California anymore. Uh, you're in Florida, where the laws are actually enforced for the most part. So yeah, you might want to rethink what you're doing because what what may work in California certainly won't work here. Ain't in California. My radio number's twenty five. You good? All right. Ten twenty six of twenty. He's gonna read your Miranda warning. Okay. Okay, totally talking yourself into going to jail. Do you know what Miranda is? She did not have her Do you know what Miranda is? is? No, I do not. Stay. My reason was be stay, stay back. Stay back. Oh, the reason why I pulled you, and I'll explain the reason why I pulled you over too. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You also have the right to stop answering. You I your ass in not the fucking moving. Do you have the right to not answer questions? Do you, do you have the right to put your hands on me? Can I finish yeah, this? Do. Yeah, I do. You will, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until he talks to the Lord. Do you understand, Miranda? Can you read it one more time? Do you understand, Miranda? Can you read it one more time? Please, I didn't get quite all that. Yeah, sure, because you were moving. What no, you need to do is like, stop talking and sit there. It takes me a while to understand okay. everything you just said. Okay. Can you say it one more time, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. All right, I'll say it one more time for you. Please. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer or advice. She can go to jail. Uh, she needs to go to jail. And to have him or her with you during questioning. You cannot afford a lawyer. One will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand, Miranda? I don't have to answer that, but yes. Wow, what a smart ass. In fact, uh, I do believe... Uh, from her general overall attitude, that this is not the first time she's had the Miranda warning read to her. It actually looked like she'd make a good frauditor. What do you think, everybody? If she was actually let out and uh, trained by other frauditors, do you think she'd uh, do well on uh, the platform? Okay, yes, you do understand Miranda. Okay, no, you're going to sit right there. I can smell alcohol coming off of you. I saw a Red Rider BB gun. You refused to step out of the vehicle. Pennsylvania v. Mims is case law where I can ask you to step out of the vehicle. Huh? I had one thing earlier today. Maybe that's why you smell it. That's a BB gun. It's not mine. Okay, sweet. So you're you're admitting you're admitting drinking alcohol. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Let me finish, and then I'll let you talk. I pulled you over because you don't have a tag attached to the outside of your vehicle that's displayed outside the vehicle, okay? You can't see it right So I smell alcohol. I saw... I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. Um, I smell the alcohol. But you can't see it. It's covered up because I'm moving right now. Yeah. In the state of Florida, you have to have registration on a motor vehicle on the outside of the vehicle, on the rear of the vehicle, okay? I was not aware of that. So I can smell the alcohol. I saw the uh, front grip of a what I thought to be a firearm. It was a BB gun. You refused to step out of the vehicle. Um, I am going to take you to jail, okay? And I'm going to do a, uh, a DUI investigation on you as well, okay? And if you want to do that, you can. That's that's entirely... Okay, and that's fine. But you're going to jail regardless, okay? Uh, for resisting without violence, um, I still getting back on your driver's license. I'm not sure on that. Your proof of identification. How are you? I didn't have to. Resisting without violence, and I'm gonna charge you a DUI. Okay. Trust anybody who comes up to us. We're in uniform. What am I driving? What am I driving? All right. Well, that can be your argument in court. Then that'll be a good one. Is there anything illegal inside the vehicle? No. Okay. Is there anyone within like 15 minutes can come pick your vehicle up? 
Yeah. That's fine. I'll be too. I choose to not answer any of your questions. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Inventory. Oh, sweet, man. Oh, but oh, your stuff if you're not going to That's not the way I, I, I can come back. That's my bad home. Okay. Your vehicle's getting towed, and if you can't, it, huh? I already showed you ID. No, we're done with that. We're done with that. You obviously know we're cops. You want to play silly games, you get to go to jail. And you don't want to figure out what to do with your vehicle, it's getting towed. And every day you don't get it, it's going to be a fee in the impound lot. So good luck trying to get that out. You don't need to see his ID. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. By law, you were required to Move the ID. Oh, so you didn't know about the Miranda warning or uh, the Florida law that states that you can't have a uh, obstructed license plate, but all of a sudden you are aware that uh, cops are supposed to ID in the state of Florida when asked to? I mean, can you provide a citation for that? Because inquiring minds want to know if you have a sound legal argument to begin with. So uh, present the uh, statute. Present it, please. And if you can't, you sound just like every other fraudster who thinks they know the law. Uh, but in all actuality, yeah, you got jack squat. Move your damn no. foot. No, you don't put your hands on me. I said move your foot. By law, you don't know what you're talking about. Where was that? Sitting right beside him. Of course it's not. Oh man, that, that Mr. ain't got nothing Thomas. to do with me. Mr. Thomas. Do you know what Miranda is? Um, just... I'm following you. I'm just... Hang out here with this lieutenant. This was loaded. I have got BBs in there. You better be careful, Ralphie. You'll shoot your eye off with that thing. Oh my god, I shot my eye out. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Does Samantha have a valid license? Kiwi Peach, simply spiked, contains alcohol. I'm gonna give her a ticket for an open container too. Hundred percent. She was doing. She was doing fifty six in front of me. <laughs> in a forty five. Yeah. We get caught by the police. Tom, is this your phone? Yeah, yeah that's the phone. The only thing mine is that phone. Okay. Good nine. I know. What? May I exercise my right as a sovereign citizen to be released from the bar? So is this why you were uh, doing all this BS earlier? Because you believe yourself to be a sovereign citizen? Uh, well, why didn't you use any of those arguments before you got taken out of the car? Oh yeah, that's right. You're in Florida, and they generally don't mess around with sovereign citizens too much around here. Now, with that being said, uh, sovereign citizens don't get extra rights. They don't get anything else other than what everybody else gets. So the answer is no. Hey, Sarge. She wants to exercise her right as a sovereign citizen to exit the car. Why? Uh, no, Samantha, you're going to jail for multiple charges. I can explain to you later. Do you have anything on you or in you that uh, I couldn't search or I couldn't feel whenever I patted you down? Yes or no? I'd like to exercise my Miranda right. Okay, just just FYI, this this is excluding Miranda. Miranda does not involve this. You are going to jail 100%. If you go into the jail and you have something in you or on you, Whenever they're in the jail with you, uh, you're going to get charged for introduction. Okay, but I'm just letting you know, so now you understand. Wow, maybe you should have just uh, admitted to having something on you, and that way, well, you wouldn't be charged with smuggling, you moron. But, of course, if you really are a soft heart, it's understandable that you, uh, uh, well, refuse to answer any of those questions because 
you Savtards don't have a fully functional uh, brain that's capable of understanding what the consequences of your actions are. So that's why you ended up in this mess. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?